So, what is in the menu for tonight? Because it's evening, just got off work and uh, got out of the shower. And uh, said, I will be doing a nice relaxing shave, but also will take care of a tag from my wet shaving hermano and uh, shaving degenerate, DK, and I will be doing the two pass with the grain challenge. Never thought I was gonna do that, but hey, I was tagged and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to it. So these the software software for tonight will be Pinnacle Grooming, and this is Colezione Sicilia Pelo and Contrapelo Beard and Hair series of soaps look at this label is so so nice that i got from pasteur's pharmacy they actually having a sale on this soaps 50 percent off and this comes from england i believe uk also the racer company carries this uh, brand of soaps uh pinnacle grooming first time and I'll tell you right off the bat quite a fragrant soap and I did a test lather, had no problems with it. Very uh, slick also, love the base. I will be talking about the ingredients and the scent notes, which are amazing, um, right after I uh, prep my face and, um, and take care of the, the usual stuff. So for the racer that I'm gonna do, be using for this challenge is the Chick Golden 500, since I'm not accustomed to doing only two pass with the grain. I like the money pass, like the stallion uh, calls it. I will be using a racer that DK knows is the GOAT then 500 of the greatest of all time because it's pretty efficient. I'm using a brand new injector blade that is already loaded in here. And uh, we'll be using an as aftershave. This is it's an Italian inspired shave. I will be using the Aqua di Parma Colezione Barbieri Aftershave Balm, Balm, which is so, so, so good and luxurious. And uh, we'll be chasing it with Aqua di Parma Colonia Kersha. comes in this beautiful box. Yeah. You're gonna once one spray only because if I'm gonna go to the gym, this is a beast of a scent and it's so 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 good. Gosh, it's woody, citrusy and woody, and tends to be a little just a little bit woody. I don't know, it's just my nose. So let me prep and I'll be right back, okay? Don't go away.
are back again. I mean, for this, like I show you before, I did my pre-shave with the cube, mentholated, or the ice cube. Because I been quite enjoying mentholated shaves as of late. And look at this lather. I didn't mention, I'm using an extra old Cosmesi synthetic brush that I bought in Pasteur's also, quite a thing, two years, two years ago. And I didn't mention, this is my second shave of No Shave Movember. Like I explained in the last video, I'm doing this to uh, raise awareness on cancer, screen cancer screening, prostate cancer, I mean, and um, just to um, pay solidarity and uh, get this going. So I'm gonna leave my mustache and my goatee. Um, I feel quite strange because, like I said last time, I uh, didn't. Last time with a mustache was back in 2017, I believe. So. To pass with the grain challenge, I will be going the cheeks down here. I'm gonna go on the contours of what I want to, uh, man, I think I have a hair here. Yeah, a uh, hair from the synthetic brush, which by the way, it's not, of the it's not a, one of the greatest brushes because it, it sheds quite a lot for uh, being a synthetic, so. Not a, one of my favorites. So let me uh, clear the runways. Two days of growth since my last shave. And, uh, great. Great racer. So. Decided to do this after a long day at work, and I just needed a relaxing shave. A lot has happened, and uh, yeah. So let me take this, take care of this before I forget, because I tend to forget. So on this soap, the Colezione, the Colezione Sicilia Pelo and Contrapelo Italiano. Notes are top notes, of, <clears throat> starting from the top, of course. Raspberry and rose, pretty fragrant, by the way, the top notes. Heart notes of birch, benzoin, amberwood, and saffron, which you can get right off the bat. Right now, I'm getting all those. And the base notes, as because I did a test lather and I, I did some, uh, you see how protective it was, and let it sit for a while, you can add the, you can actually get very prominently the base note, which is agar oud, incense, and uranium. I don't have the matching splash because Pasteur's didn't have it. I think I checked on um, Razor Company and they don't carry this, the, um, the aftershave for this. They carry other soaps and after matching aftershave. And the soap ingredients, I'm going to put it right here. Very quick, I'm going to say it's a beef tallow soap. And it has potassium, pota, potassium stearate, mango butter, distilled water, avocado oil, castor oil, go, goat's milk, olive oil, aloe vera juice, cocoa butter, vegetable glycerin, almond oil, shea butter, peanut butter, no, I'm kidding, uh, silk amino acid, coconut oil, lanolin, grapeseed extract, bentonite clay, cocoa butter, caramella oil, sodium lactate, vitamin E, Pure, fragrance, and essential oils. That's quite a truckload right there, guys. So let's continue. Right here. With this razor, I don't need to stretch my skin. Because it's just slices through hair. 
Like, it's nobody's business. As I'm passing the razor to my face, I'm also grabbing hairs from that brush. So why is this challenge so difficult for me? I usually get a very acceptable shave, which is one of the questions you need to ask after you finish it. I think it's three questions. Is it a close shave? Is it a, an acceptable shave, I believe? Don't quote me on that. And if I think it's something that you also might keep on doing Right now, first pass, pretty close. Because everything is based on the razor and blade combination that you choose. Sometimes soap is soap, and I have ch shaven, shaven in the past with only bar, with, with bar soap. And even the foam in the can, now you, we call the um, Barbara Souls and Gillette foamies of the of yesteryear. Look at this. This is quite good stuff. I have seen a couple of videos in, the, in YouTube of people that find this so hard to lather. I don't know. But my Suribachi. Japanese bowl just is a rock star producing lather and this is scent strength right now of this soap I will call it a five out of five this is right in the alley of A&E soaps a matter of fact lather wise it's quite comparable it's very good As a caveat, I, um, I use the still water when I soak the brushes and everything, and that brush is, I might pull out that knot and actually put up, because I like the hand to put a better or a more decent synthetic knot in there. Probably a G5C from AP Shaco. So, second pass with the grain, again, following the contours. Not too much pressure. Seen a couple of videos. I wanna give a shout out to uh, Cape Cod wet shaver, Jason Bonham. I am a fan. I really enjoy the historical sides of his shave videos. where he goes and tells stories and historical accounts of things that, man, very interesting. I'm not a, I'm not considered a history buff, but I do enjoy history and uh, find very interesting. I always comment on his videos. I began to pay interest and I didn't, I didn't know about the Cape Cod wet shaver or Jason, but I was uh, browsing through some history, military history, because Veterans Day is coming up and I like to um, enjoy some of the content from war and history. I'm a veteran myself, an OEF, Operator, Operation Enduring Freedom veteran. So I always um, enjoy uh, knowing a lot about history and uh, war history. And something popped that pop, pop, 
right into my screen and saw the story of Roy Benavides and then the wet, the Cape Cod wet shaver. And I said, oh, damn, look at that. And I became a fan. Next, or sooner than you think, or you know, I did a Instagram live with the Razor Company and Jason was there. Angelo Amador didn't say anything about it or I forget if, I, if, if he mentioned anything. And I did it with Justin McIntyre and uh, it was fun times. So, definitely I need uh, across the grain, against the grain I mean, and also across. It is okay, not something that I will definitely repeat or do. Um, I can actually get a very comfortable and socially acceptable two pass shave, one with the grain and one with against the grain. Will I, will, will I do it again? No, I don't think so. Um, is it socially acceptable? Well, I guess, uh, I guess where are you going and what you can call socially acceptable? But for like going to a meeting or whatnot, no, I'm not because I still have hair here and here. So, yeah. So, very interesting. So, let me put some, uh, some aftershave, some balm. It's quite thick. Okay, so, come on. This thing is like. Elmer's Elmer's glue was so nice and protective. Citrusy scent, reminiscent of uh, Aqua de Parma Colonia, which has the the DNA or the signature. Yeah, very very soothing and protective. Also quite pricey, don't get me wrong. Got this all the way from Vegas and I went to a Waka de Parma boutique while I was on vacation back in 2018, 2018, yeah. So it's in my den for quite a while. And then, just one and two for the road. Oh yeah, citrusy. Ambery, and now the woodiness will develop, and I still, and I'm getting it. So, yeah, challenge done. Tag video is in the books, and uh, video number fifty-seven. Also, I am planning to do a Veterans Day shave. Just need to let some of this thing grow, grow out, and. Uh, Probably be doing a midday or um, afternoon shave on Veterans Day. So, um, guys, thank you very much for your subscriptions, for your comments. Also, I have a new, <clears throat> I have a, not a new, a couple of new subscriptions in Instagram, and um, very, very grateful, guys. So, um, I'm not gonna tag anybody. I'm not gonna be that guy. So if you feel you can do it, if you are a content creator and you feel you can do it, you want to do it, tag, knock yourself out. Consider yourself tagged. Man, I'm sweating. Jeez. It is going to rain. And so, uh, every time it forecasts to be it's going to rain, probably I will not go to the gym because I usually run to the gym. I'm not going to, obviously, if it's raining. So... Yeah, when it's the weather forecast says it's gonna rain, the the humidity and 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 the heat is just out out there, and um, yeah, still active the hurricane season. And as we speak, there's a hurricane forecast for southern or southern Florida or the whole state. So content creators from Florida, hey, uh, stay safe, be safe, and. Um, Hoping the best. My prayers are for you. I know I've been through that, and um, and I have a family and loved ones living in Florida. So uh, my prayers goes out to you. Well, guys, until next time, Calito Shapes is out of the house.